My name is Matt Boots. I'm Angel from Angel's Clubhouse. And I'm Hove from Green Lounge LA. And this is The Struck. Yeah, my uh, sponsor, Dust Luxury Cannabis. We got uh, Gold Weed, Diamond Weed, and the uh, the one that everybody likes is the Indica Strand, bro. The Indica, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a, it's a blue weed, mm-hmm. right? And it has a shimmer to it. And uh, <laughs> it's strong as f- it's strong as fuck. These people read these books, and if they <clears throat> aren't familiar, we got the books right here. Check it out. Your boy got the Gangsta J. You feel me? That's part three. That's the third one. Peace Treaty. Peace Treaty. 2017. Um, we also got the Gangsta J, the end result of a snitch. That's what started it all right there. You feel me? The very first one, you feel me? And then we got the Nayiri Jace, Gangsta J, and this is two, if I'm not mistaken, right? Is this is two, yeah. Pack yeah. Terror. Okay, so there we go. So, if I'm pretty sure people have are familiar with urban books, and if you know, then you know who I'm talking to. Personal life, like everything you say and do, move, wear, like it's gonna be out there. You could put it out there as something positive, and they'll put it. Um, like I just seen something with Neo, and they was like, oh. Looks like Neo's with another woman. Look like he's on a vacation or a vacation. If he is, so what? That's this man's business. He all the way, not even in America, and they they blasting him. But people can't just go and just be and be free. Like we, they still normal people. Well, yeah, they got a lot of money. They in the limelight. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So. We're going to be sitting down with AJ the Great, one of the newest managers in the game. He's also been doing events, and he might be on CVS, so you guys might want to tune in. I don't know. Once again, as you know, it's Green Lounge LA, Mad Boots Entertainment, Angel Clubhouse, Empire. I'm Hove, and this is AJ the Great. What's going on with you, AJ? Oh, man. That's been great. What's good with you, man? (laughs) So, it's a lot to talk about and a little little time to unpack it, but let's get to it, shall we? Let's do it. What's going on with CVS, man? All That's right. what I heard. So, so you know, so like, you know, I got a team that, that research people. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on on CBS? Man? Yeah, yeah. So you know what? Uh, March twenty fifth, man. Look out for this. Uh, for this TV show, I'm gonna be on. It's pretty big, pretty popular. Uh, CBS. You know what I'm saying? So um, can't give too much details, but just know like it's gonna be really, really solid. Solid. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just look out for that. March twenty fifth. It's gonna be pretty big, man. Pretty big. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not too much details, but <laughs> hold on. Not too much details, but I got the date and the channel. <laughs> There's no CBS. All right, all right. Say say yes. So, what's going on with the albums, man? What's going on? The company's getting new artists. Right, right. You know, what's going on? Right, right. You know what? Um, Right now, uh, Khan is working on his album. Uh, You know, I got uh, my my other artist that I'm working with right now, Yogi, man. He's actually uh, pretty good in the game right now. You know, we're getting his feet wet. Uh, You know, uh, he know YG personally. So, you know, uh, that's going to be pretty big for him, you know. But but he just got to, you know, take this stuff serious, you know what I'm saying, for other people like that to take him serious, you know what I'm saying? For a big name like that to take him serious, you know. So getting his feet wet, you know, trying to get him in the game and trying to make him do what what's right for himself along the way, you know what I'm saying? So when he do get up there, like he understands. Let's say, let's uh go. let's talk about it, man. Yeah, yeah. How much patience does it take to be a manager then how often do you gotta be careful what you say when you're a manager? Like how much um, does that you know what affect you? Um, before I became a manager, I remember I was very idle minded, like a lot of people was, you know what I'm saying? Back then I was young and dumb and, uh, I, I understand that words can really hurt you. The stuff that you speak about can really hurt you. Why? For example, let's just say you're like, oh, this artist is trash or this person is trash. Eventually you came to find out, damn, one day you got to work with this artist and he's actually bigger than you are right now. You know what I'm saying? What took him to that level? You're talking down on this guy, but you're still down there. You know what's interesting in this game? And it happens a lot. That situation happens a lot. Talented people don't work as hard as people mm-hmm. that's untalented. Mm-hmm. So the untalented will outwork them and eventually become more talented. Mm-hmm. I've seen it happen already. A lot, a lot. Uh, a lot of people think more often than you would think. You a think that story happens like once right. in a while, right. lifetime, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some real talented. No, nah, it happens man. all the time. Bro. Right. I know some real talented people. So but they tell me now, now like you in the game, you're managing. You used to kind of just do it yourself. Yeah. Are you getting back on the stage? Are you going um, rapping again? You know What's what? going on? I get back on the stage when, like, I feel like it's necessary or, like, you know, like, uh, just when I want to, like, you know. When is it necessary, man? 
Uh, I would feel like it's ne- when, when necessary. When can we summon the beast, man? <laughs> I feel like it's necessary if I really want to motivate like uh, my artist that's that's getting their feet wet or they want to be up there. Or, you know, uh, when we got something hot, like, you know, me and Khan, we always do some hot hot shit, you know, uh, and we get, and we got to get up there. But but I don't really get up there because, I, I've t- you know, I feel like I've, I've done that already and I've touched base on that. So I, I like to give it to them. I love to see them shine. I love, love for them to get up there. I'm really, really more focused on like the back end, like what we could do to make you a better artist on stage what you could do you know what we could do for you to for, so you could shine when you get up there so you all right so you know i gotta ask you right you know i gotta ask you what can you do to be a better artist what can on be, stage like personally me, yeah let's like, get it be a better artist motivate the crowd like not even just motivate the crowd but like get them involved more you know what i'm saying like if you up there you up, you get up there you see a lot of people just yeah all right, we here. Uh, nah, but like, how y'all doing tonight? You know what I'm saying? Y'all having a good time? Y'all came to see, see see some real good stuff, right? You know, just talk to them, get them engaged. Crowd control. Control your crowd. That's you up there. They came to see you, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. Uh, if you hear a song that, that ain't supposed to be playing first, yo, DJ, next song, next song. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to get to that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, all that, you just got to know how to really work your crowd, work the music. Remember, when you up there, you're in control. You know what I'm saying? And don't ever let the crowd see you sweat. That's another thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, Can you remember in you know the beginning when a, when a moment you sweat it? You know what? <laughs> Watch Summer Festival years ago, as a matter of fact. Like, Which one? We, uh, the one at the like, Ted Watkins? Or yeah, the, Ted, the Watkins, one? Okay, Ted okay, Watkins. Okay. Years ago, right? When I was actually with the group, my boys, you know, <laughs> I had to learn a rap overnight. I had to learn my verse. And I was like, damn, went up there. Da, 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 da. Boom. I paused in the middle of the rap, but my boys were still singing, right? And I got right back into it. Like, like I paused and whatever bars was right there, the next bars came to my head. You know, that's when we were doing it live, not the track in the background. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I understand how that is. You know, so, but I didn't sweat though, because I was always taught that. Like, you know, like uh, just being managed by uh, the guys who was, I was being managed, you know, at the time, you know, they right. used to tell us that. Don't ever, ever let them see you sweat, blood, sweat, and tears. You get to it every day, every day, every day. You know what I'm saying? That's what these artists don't get nowadays. They think, oh, I'm good. I should be famous. No, you ain't good. You ain't good until you really touch base with this stuff, until you understand how this shit really works, until you get out there and really put in that footwork. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what really can you say that you understand now as a manager that's different from like the artist? What can, like, Because you got to remember one day you was just an artist. Right, right, right. If you was looking at that artist now, what would you have said to yourself? Like, you know, uh, honestly, what I would say to myself, uh, not what what I know now, is um, you know what, it it'll come when the time is right. Cause, and I say this because mm-hmm. I feel like we was working hard, we was, but it just wasn't that time. It's all about who you're around, what they doing for you, and the places that they're. They're getting you because we were really good. You know what I'm saying? We you just said who you're around. That that is more important than anything because you can be around people that got it mm-hmm. and can give it to you mm-hmm. and you won't even think, think about you. <laughs> like they holding it all for themselves, and that's what I learned. I yeah, learned, like no, nah, I want to give this knowledge to you. You know, like kind of want to give this to you. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm, I want you to be. You know, like in case I have to go handle business, you already know what to do. You ain't just waiting for me to. You know what I'm saying? Like after this, ten years, five years later, you be able to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, like manage your. You know what I'm saying? Like you, yeah, like, like. Really so, saying, learning the game now really that you deal with artists, mm-hmm. right? What can you say you see differently now as like you deal with the artists? With to be honest, because you know there's a lot of artists out there watching you. They know you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, you do the events. We all do the events. Yeah. You feel me? So now that they're looking at you, what can you say is like? What would you have to learn to become the manager? You know, for those what? people who's close enough to make that transition. Uh, understand what it takes to be a leader. Understand that you're going to put the team before yourself. You're going to put your artists before yourself. You're going to make sure that they're good before you're good, 100%. You know, uh, understand what it takes for leadership. Uh, everything uh, rises and falls on leadership. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, learn the different personalities. Learn your uh, learn your artist's strong suit. Don't have everybody doing the same thing. Learn where they're strong at. Have them play that position. It's very good, and it's going to take them to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's, that, that's really it. And just leadership. Uh, you can't you can't lead an army if you ain't got no leadership. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You can't run a label if you don't know what it takes to rise and fall. If you don't so you speak on leadership. Understand. What have you learned about it? Because you know, even when you became a manager, you still didn't know what you was doing yet. Right. Right. I. I, I and now that you started did. doing it, you know, let, now that right. you've done it for a right. while right. now, right. Right. you can admit that shit. <laughs> like, right. I didn't know. Right. That, you know right. And that's another thing too. Like. People will tell you whatever, but don't ever let them tell you what they haven't done. You know what I'm saying? And like what they haven't been through. Right. And that's what I learned. 
going through everything I went through, I understood what it take, what the artists need. Because I, I remember what I wanted and what I needed and what I wasn't getting and what I was getting and how shit was, you know what I'm saying? So right. so I understand, like, all right, I already know where where we felt at when we were doing it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I learned now, like, all right, look, in order to be big, you might have a hit song, you might have the hits, but if it numbers ain't there, numbers don't lie, people do. You know what right. I'm saying? That's another thing I'll be trying to trying to show them, like, you know? But we got to get that up there, though. We got to do it as a team, 100%. Like, yeah. I can tell you to go out there and stand on the quarter and, and do all that. But Let's know, talk about, you, know what I'm saying? you said we, because, you know, a lot of times, and on the struggle, mm-hmm. I talk about a lot, mm-hmm. that it takes a team. Yeah, It really 100%. do. All that, like, in the, like, I would like to say in the ghettos, mm-hmm. you feel me? But in the inner city, in the minority communities, mm-hmm. it's always the eye. Everybody mm-hmm. wants to be Jordan. Uh, but even Jordan was on the team. Oh, man. Um, and I think it should go out there this year, 2024, that it really is about the team. Yeah, me is in the team. Right. And yeah. you know that you bring up Jordan. It's funny because um, I don't want to get the, uh, the story too mixed up, but um, he was a beast that what he did, right? He was scoring. And I think this was back then. I don't know if it was on the heat or uh, if I get the, uh, the story correct. He was a beast at what he was doing. And he was scoring and he was leading, you know, like teams in points. But the championship wasn't really there. Why? Because he didn't understand like what team. Oh, you're was. talking about what he was with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he had the years right, against Detroit. Right, you know what I'm saying? But he learned that. You know what I'm saying? Because what it takes, you might be the best on the team, but if your team ain't winning, bro, you all ain't none of y'all winning. Hundred percent. You know. So, so, and that's what I learned as well. You know, if your team ain't winning, bro, you still lose. Yeah, You're losing if your team ain't winning. Yeah, you can be the best loser on the team. Yeah, you can be the best loser on the team. Guess who look yeah. bad? You do. <laughs> Especially if you're the leader of the team. So you know what's what coming up with the new shows? We talked uh, about the CBS, but right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know uh, you got some shows out there. What, yeah, what's yeah, your yeah. hit with it, man? Right. So other than CBS, um, honestly, uh, right now I'm about to take a trip to Vegas, man. And uh, a lot of people don't know, but my uncle is actually a, a boxing trainer out there. He's actually a ro- uh, Roly Romero uh, trainer. You know what okay. I'm saying? They just did a, a couple years ago. He fought Tank in New York, you know, so that was pretty dope. But I'm going to go out there with him and link up with him and see what we can do out there in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? So I want to start having shows out there. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want Khan and uh, Yogi and, you know, everybody at work to start getting paid. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Like, right, we right. get paid, we see a little bit of money, but pay for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because at right. this point now, we got to know our worth and our value. You know what I'm saying? Talk about, for real. a lot of people talk about worth and value. Mm-hmm. How do you show the evidence? You know what? Because um, you know what? I'm a, I'm a vent promoter. So when people come to me and say, I'm going to be 100. Yeah. You come to me talking about, hey, you. I'm cool with it, man. I, yeah, I will pay yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many people can you bring? Right. 100%. Where's the evidence? Yep. And that's facts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm and, saying? Because and that's, and that's I talk money. Yeah, yeah. yeah and money yeah, yeah. money is numbers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 100%. Okay. And, and, so and, if and you can't show me no, no money, yeah, you can't show me no numbers. That's what I too. Like, look. I want to get you paid. So I said that this like, how important is it for an artist to learn how to show that? Because it is showable. Yeah, There's a way you can do you, it. You gotta How's have, important? Right, Go you ahead. Have tell them how to do it. You want you want, you want to know what? You got to have value. You know what I'm saying? Because if uh, let's just say, like you say, you know, these big people do want to book you for your show. How are you going to help them if they're putting their money behind you and they want to pay you, but you have no value in what you could bring to them? You know what I'm saying? Once again, that contributes with teamwork, you know, even if we don't know each other, like, what can you add to the team? You know what I'm saying? So if I give you $500 to show up to this show, you better at least be making me at least seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, them numbers got to, you know what I'm saying? And that's just not just you uh, putting money up or, or whatever the case. That's how many people can you bring that are really supporting you? You know what I'm saying? What did you guys do to address that issue? Uh, like, your team? High job market. Uh, yeah, what yeah. strategy did you guys use to? Uh, you know what? Start um, getting people to come to your shows. We uh we definitely work with the right people. Uh, we promote correctly. We learn how to promote. We learn how to give the people more than take give to the people more than take from them. So if you come to our event, you're not just coming to see artists, you know, on stage. You're getting something out of it. We have food for you. We might give you something for free in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? We might we're gonna give back to you. So what you spent on these tickets, you might get back something better than that you know what i'm saying you might get back more than that so we try to give back as we do these shows you know what i'm saying and then when they right. do come to these events understand you're not just paying a ticket to come watch these artists we got the red carpet for you you know what i'm saying we got a uh, we got special guests in the building we got a uh, comedy for you maybe you know what i'm saying like like you're gonna get a real treat you know other than just spending a hundred and something on some tickets and you just see one person on stage or a couple people and then you go home you're like damn that was cool but you know like Damn, next time I might not, you know, buy that expensive ticket. I might, 
you know, so we give them a reason to want to get VIP. You know what I'm saying? We, right. we treat them in VIP really, really nice. You're going to be good. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to get up. I got somebody that's going to come to you and serve you. You know what I'm saying? So service to the people. That's what right. we try to show them to get them comfortable. I can't wait to go back. To what was it like you know I mean? when you, your shows were like only 20 people to where they're at mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. you know How'd what? you overcome that? Um, understanding the bigger picture and the bigger goal. What what understand. technique did you use specifically to overcome that? Like to overcome that, uh, it's, it's a mental thing, man. Honestly, so it's a mental thing. You got to tell yourself like, uh, it's small now, but it's gonna get bigger. And this is how it really right. starts. You know right, it starts off small. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna throw you know you ain't gonna throw somebody out there uh, to the sharks and they don't know what to do in that. You know when when there's only little you know little fishes around them. Right, you ain't gonna throw them out there to the sharks. You, know you what can't. I'm yeah, well, it depends. Can't. It depends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, man, man. That's just I don't know what it depends on. <laughs> you gonna get eight alive, boy. Eight alive. No, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, All right, so uh, check it. Yeah. We talked to Contagion. We talked to you. What do you guys got planned for this year as we head out? Uh, as we head out, honestly, uh, I, I want to get them back uh, on the school tours, like the actual high schools and tours. You know what I'm saying? I want them to really touch that. And uh, and I tell them all the time, like, uh, you're great at what you do. You know what I'm saying? But now you need something that's gonna rock them kids and rock them teenagers. And like, you already know you you already know what it is. Some trap music and the, you, that's what they want to hear. So give them what they want to hear because we already know what you can do. we already know what you can do. But get that hit, get that get that stuff flowing around the school, around the city. Let them hear who you are. Then hit them with that. I'm saying who you are. Who you really okay. are. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, you gotta get up in there. You gotta get up in there. All right. So we gonna hear you this summer. Me? Yeah, you gonna hear me? Not just contagious. <laughs> you. I said you. Yeah, I he I'm trying to get featured, off stage I'm too much, featured man. on some of his songs, you know All right, all right. We're going to get you back on stage? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, for sure, man. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to hold you to that, man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, for sure. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that was our show today, an interview with your boy, AJ the Great. I'm a whole shout out to Mad Poots and Angel Clubhouse. Love you. Appreciate you. And uh, we out. <laughs> <laughs>